everybody and welcome back. I know it's been quite a hot minute since I've made a YouTube video, but anyways, for those who don't know me, my name is Lisa, my fashion blog is lmpcollections.com, and my Instagram name is Lisa Marie Prang. So the whole entire reason I'm making this video today is because on Instagram, you guys have been sending me so many requests. I've been doing these cool little overlays on my Instagram pictures, and you guys seem to really love them, so I just wanted to show you guys how to do it. It's super simple steps on Photoshop. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that, and if you guys recreate anything inspired by this video, please don't be afraid to send me a message or hashtag Lisa Marie Prank or just simply tag me in your picture. I would love to see everything. So without further ado, let's get on into the video. All right guys, so to get started, you start out with any image that you wanna put your little stars on. So go to Google and type in star and then I always like to make sure I hit the labeled for, for reuse setting um, just to make sure it's like legally you're able to use it even though I know it's a star but then you just copy paste it onto your image on Photoshop and you can kind of rotate it for a, however you want it to look on your image. Click the check mark and then go over to your layer and then you can play around with the opacity just to make it look like it's you know just you can see through it or something but double click that layer and then my favorite thing to do is click the color overlay you can kind of match it to match your picture you can use the little eyedropper tool within um the color overlay edit and you can click on like your shirt or something in the picture to make it the color you want and then so click that layer and then you can duplicate it and then it just does the same exact star and you can duplicate it as many times as you want and then so for this trick you can layer it over something that you want to make it look like it's behind. I hope I'm making sense. But then you just take the uh, eraser tool and then you just erase the part that you want to be on top of it. So for instance this circle I want to make it look like it's over on top of the star. So I just erase the part of the star that is laying on top of that. So there is that. Just super simple. I know I feel like this video is just kind of like straight into the point so I hope you guys can learn something from that. But so now I made that opacity a little bit lower and then I'm just doing, um, you can do option on your Mac and then it just kind of also is another way to copy your star or you can duplicate it. So there's that. All right, so up next, we're gonna do the glitter star. Go back to Google or just repaste that original star that you've used before. So paste that, and then what you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna go back to Google, and then you're gonna to wanna to Google whatever kind of glitter you want. So I'm gonna go for a gold glitter, and then you also wanna make sure that you have the setting still on labeled for reuse. Choose the glitter that you'd like, and then copy paste it back on to your Photoshop board. Make sure it covers the star. And then what you're gonna wanna do is put your cursor in between the gold and the star layer and click option. So that kind of masks it over it, which is kind of cool. You wanna make sure both layers are selected and then you can resize and you can rotate however you'd like. And I just wanted to share that with you guys because seriously, it is like the easiest thing. All right guys, so next up, I'm gonna show you guys how to take part of an image and place it onto another image. So I wanted this cool big confetti piece and I take the lasso tool, trace around it, and then copy and paste it, and then I minimize that image and literally just drag that part, that layer, onto the next. So it kind of creates that really awesome effect. It makes it look like that confetti just flew right out of there. <laughs> so it's super cool. It's a really cool trick to do. And then you just want to place it and kind of like rotate it to make it look like it's realistic. And then what I like to do is I like to go to the eraser tool. I like to set the hardness at zero. And then I just kind of like erase around it to make it look like it is a part of the image, um, just to make it look very realistic. So I'm doing that. And then once it looks completely realistic, I will go on to the original layer and then I will take, so now I'm taking the patch tool and on the original layer image, I'm creating a circle and then literally just taking the cursor and finding a spot on the image that I want it to clone. So I just do that over and over and over again. So it probably took me about a good 20 to 30 minutes to create that image on Instagram that I showed you guys. I'll show the complete image here in a second. But honestly, I just did that over and over and over again, and then it creates a really cool image. 
All right, guys, so that is all I have for you today. I hope you guys feel a little more inspired to create something new on Photoshop. And if you do, please don't be afraid to tag me. And I know I might not be like the best teacher ever. So if you guys do have any more questions, please don't be afraid to reach out. I'd love to connect with you guys. So I hope you guys were able to feel inspired. I know I already said that. But anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys next time.